All right, what's going on, my divas? As you can see, eyebrows are done. Thought I'd do those off camera. Um, I am getting ready today. I saw one of the people I follow on YouTube do a yellow look. Um, so I thought I'd try it today and see what we can do. And thought I'd get ready with you guys. I have some appointments to go to. This hair, you guys, you will see next time, will look different. These nails, I will finally get them done. Uh, so I washed my face, primed it, or not primed it, but moisturized it. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to prime these lids. All right, so we are going to take my ColourPop in the color Dark 46. And we are going to put that all over the lid. Yes, honey, yes. And then we are going to take my Morphe M335 and we are going to just blend this all in. This is going to, I hope this turns out right. That's the thing. I want it to turn out amazing. Who doesn't like a yellow look? But I feel like every time I do one, it becomes chalky. So let's hope. I am obsessed with um, Huda Beauty's um, setting powder. I got it in the butt. Super obsessed with it. Like. I'm not even almost done and not even close and I am thinking I might have to order another one. That's because how bad I like it. I have a lot of setting powders and this one does the most for me. It makes my skin, like when I set my face or contour, this setting powder does magnificent. So Huda, you guys have not stirred me wrong. I also got with them guys. I'm not using it today, but let me show you their mascara. Woo! It's a game changer, you guys. A game changer. Huda Beauty. I have to say, I've everything that I've gotten. I'm going to try their chin because a girl was quarantine. A girl that got chubby. I can't even fit in clothes anymore and the other day I was supposed to go to the gym and I turned my alarm off and was like ah no <laughs> so I need to get back to doing that eating healthy start back to my intermittent fasting like I got work to do work to do but yeah if you haven't got the Huda Beauty mascara y'all need I, after you're done watching me, y'all need to go on that website and get you one. Get you one, cause it's a game changer. I wore that the other yesterday. What falsies? Cause you can tell I don't really have much lashes, but when I put that on, girl, you would think I have a full set on my eyes. So now we got the eyes primed and everything. We are going to jump in, and you already know it because I love these palettes. We are going to do the Nomad by Juvius palettes. Love it, love, love. I'm ready for her to have her brushes. The red tipped one. If you're watching this, Juvius palettes, please, I need you to put those back on stock because I need them. Um, but we are going to jump into this color right here. We're going to put that in our crease. Start off, with, that's going to be our transition shade. And I'm hoping this turns out to... And if you guys didn't know, Juvia's Palace is black owned. So if you have not tried the product, I don't know what you're waiting for. Her um, eyeshadows are so pigmented like it's ridiculous it will not fail you I can tell you that 
So we're just gonna put this all in the crease. So then when we put that yellow down, it's a pop of color. And usually I start off with one eye and stuff. And my thing was, I didn't think it would, I mean, it's coming. I mean, you probably can't see it more on the camera but in this mirror, I can see the pop of color. So then when we do put that yellow on, it's going to really show. So I'm gonna jump in and do the other eye. Usually I do just one eye and I just remember something. All right, we are back. We were having a technical difficulty. So, <laughs> Let's get back into this. Like, not showing up as dark as I want it to be, which is kind of scary. Hmm. We are going to do another color. I'm going to go into my MAC Red Brick. And we're going to try that and make, see if that's a little darker. Because I want it to be a little darker than what that's coming up to. Okay. That's better. Yes, honey. Yes. That is coming out way more better. See the difference? You can see a little bit of the color, which I'm wanting it to do. Forget I have these little Mac things because when I worked at Macy's, I had a Mac right there. So now I work at Bon Bar. There's no Mac. And so I don't really go to Mac as much anymore. So I forget sometimes that I have a Mac. I said just a little bit of it, just to darken a little bit of the crease. There we go, there we go. And now we're gonna jump into that yellow. This angle brush here, if you can see it kind of slants, just cause it really would stipple into that. Ooh, how pigmented is that? We are just going to put that all over the lid. Yes, honey, yes. Oof. There is some fallout, and that's okay. We can clean that up. And we're just going to keep building that up until you are happy with the yellow. I mean, you can leave it the way you want to. I'm just going to build it up just a little bit. So, there we go. And then I'm gonna go back in that orange and just put that back over in the crease here. And there's that, so. Hmm, there we go. I wish I had like, I wish sometimes my eyes didn't have that deep crease. I wish it was just like flat, but okay. God gave me what he gave me, I guess. Okay, so now we're going to do the other eye. And this yellow has a little bit of shimmer. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it has some shimmer to it. Not like over dramatic shimmer, but there is some shimmer there. I'm going to spritz my brush just a little bit just to see if that yellow comes a little bit more yellow like I mean like hello sun yellow and just see if that makes it any different mm. not really <laughs> 
tried. All right, I think we are gonna be done with the yellow. I'm gonna take that orange color one more time. Okay. And then I had what I wanted. Okay, if I can find where I put it. Oh, here it is. So I was going to use the Sephora blue and it comes out blue for your eyelashes, but I think that'll just look a little weird to me. So I'm going to go in and use the MAC Lash Volumizer um, mascara, just the black one, just to give these eyelashes a little pop. Like I'm a girl, like all my mascara has to give me like length. Like I need to look like I got lashes. So if you ever notice, nothing looks simple and just gives me natural. Like I have to have full. Like you see that compared to that, I need length. Like I be trying to get in to get my lashes done and the girl that I want to go to is so booked you guys like she's already half booked for July so I was like I don't know if there's hope <laughs> I just hope one day I'm sporadically just gonna go on there and like oh she has she has an opening because I can never get on there like it is so crazy before this whole pandemic went in I mentioned before I had an appointment and um, I found that it got canceled, but she never really reached out to me either to reschedule. That's the thing. So, there's that. Look at that face. <laughs> now, I'm just going to take a sip of my coffee. That is now cold. I don't know if coffee just never I'm gonna spritz my face with the Fenty setting spray just a little bit oh this stuff smells so good guys so freaking good <sighs> um, and then I am going to I gotta go wet my sponge I have that I'm going to take this Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this is the deep font. Uh, going to like eliminate some of the dark circles that I have. And I'm going to also take, hmm, I need another brush because I was going to use the one I used with the yellow, but that is too... Two, two, two. I'm gonna take the BH5. I know it's a big brush, but we're gonna get in there. And that's what color comes out. And we're just gonna get underneath the eyes. So then when that foundation comes up, it doesn't look like you can still see my dark circles, so. We are just going to, this mirror is so small, I don't know why I'm looking into it. My eyes are like going, Ugh. like it is starting to get so small. It is crazy, but it looks so clear, but very small. Maybe if I come closer, there we go. Oh my gosh, do you guys see those lashes? Like, eh. But, okay, so now we have that all under our eyes. <laughs> we are going to take just some concealer too and kind of just mix it in. Okay, 
And then we're going to take that same brush and we're going to blend in that concealer just a little bit. So we'll still have concealer under our eye and we're going to have it over our eye too as well. And it will give us just a little bit more full coverage underneath the eye. See that? Like just a little. Just a little bit. We are going to prime our face using my favorite milk primer, Holy Grail. This is another thing that I'm in like, I'm not out of, you can literally tell. But, and I think nowadays it's hard to want to do my makeup when we have to wear masks. Because then it just gets all over. So that's where it gets harder too. That's where it frustrates me. It's like, oh my God, I want to, I want to wear my makeup but I can't because <laughs> I mean some days I do don't get me wrong but then I just get so upset when I take the mask off I'm like all my work is all over my mask so and we're gonna take a nice little flat brush to get in between eyebrows to do this so And that's a little better and then we're gonna take I got this handy dandy fan off of Amazon I'm just gonna let that get a little sticky for our foundation like these eyes are looking amazing I think yellow is like not as popped as I want it to be but it will do Beggars can't be choosers, right? <laughs> I can't get everything I want. And then I'm going to use one more primer, just a little bit of pore primer. And that fan has two um, levels to it. So you got a little low one, it's not too low, like low, low, and then you got a high one too. Now we're gonna take our Tasha, ta, Tasha, um, the silk canvas, and we are going to just really get into the pores there. So we're gonna put it all over there. Then I tell you sometimes this thing gets like icky. Yeah, it just gets so disgusting. Ugh. Don't know how it's going to react. So, or if I'm putting too much. Who knows? But now my face is all sticky. We're gonna go in with foundation. We're using the NYX, um, can't stop, won't stop, and I'm in the color Cappuccino. And we are just going to place that all over the skin. We're going for a full coverage, baby, full coverage. And I like about this sponge, it is so big, that it's gonna cover up this whole, whole area. <laughs> in one little dab it gets it all done and then we use this side just to get in those little creases there i got dermaplaning done too so i've been loving lately how my foundation's been sitting okay and then we still have some of my little freckles hanging through and we're gonna do the good because it can get down your nose. So that's always nice too. Okay, and then we're going to do the forehead. Okay. Dab that in more. And 
there, we're just going to put a little bit more around the mouth. Use the extra that was on there. And just a little bit around the nose and mouth. Okay, we got everything looking pretty good. Okay, now we're going to go in back with that ColourPop concealer and we are going to conceal under these eyes. These are going to, we're going to do some down the nose today, forehead, cupid bow. it out and with this concealer it's really natural like doesn't really like you can tell but it's not overpowering but then when you put the setting powder it really does look flawlessly beautiful get that chin look so now that we got that all good go in with my favorite setting powder Get underneath those eyes. Use the same sponge and just really set underneath that. Get, I love this setting powder, you guys. I love, like, I don't know how many times I can say it. I love it. And it smells so good, too. It smells. Delightful. Okay. Uh, must have got an Amazon. Something must have got delivered today. So we're going to let that sit a little bit. Um, and we are going to, now we're going to contour, do a little bronze for this cloudy day we have. I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown um, foundation stick and espresso. We're going to chisel these cheeks a little bit. And I know it looks scary because it's darker, but it all will come together, I promise. And we are going to take um, my NYX Professions brush. I'm just going to really chisel that in. I'm really into bronzing lately. like. I feel like when I don't bronze, I don't feel, <laughs> I don't feel right. But when I do this, I'd be like, yes, honey, yes. Bronze me, bronze me. So nice. So, so, so nice. And then let's get underneath here. Bronze. And then we're going to go with my favorite bronzing powder right now. Charlotte Tilbury. Amazing. This look how pretty this is, you guys. Look how pretty that it is. Huge. Like look at that. That's like half of my face right there. This is huge. And I got it in the deep four. So this is the darkest. It's only three shades. But honey. Charlotte Tilbury, man. Mm -mm. You go, girl. You go. Look at that. And a little goes a long way, you guys. If you do a lot, like look at that. If you do a lot, girl, there's days where I go too, too much. Look at that, so gorgeous. It is a gorgeous bronzer, like, I can't complain. So, ooh, look, honey, she did it. Ooh, I put too much, too much on the forehead. We gotta blend, we gotta blend it out. I told you sometimes I can go way, like a little bit. You only need a little bit. Whew, we made that work. Like, I love this bronzer. It's gonna be hard for me not. And these are reusable. So this pops out. So, I mean, what? I don't know. I don't have very many bronzers. 
Um, so, I mean, you already know my other favorite one is the Bobbi Brown, um, but I know that one doesn't pop out, so you have to buy a whole new one, but this is amazing. I know I look crazy because I got so much brown on my face, but it's going to come together, I promise. Okay. All right. We are bronzed. As bronze as we're going to get. Now I got to sweep off this stuff off my face. So my Morphe R7, and we're just going to dust that off. Dusty, 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 dusty. It's just, I, it just makes my face look so nice. Like, I love this setting powder. Like, it's amazing. Like, look at that. Look. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then now we're going to mist our face so we don't have that powder look. So we're going to go back with the Fenty. And we're just going to spray it. Okay. And we're going to take, I just got these Morphe eyeliner pens. We're going to go into our waterline with it. This is called Coin. Brand new. That's what it looks like. So it's super, super pigment. Like I want to show you guys on my hand how pigmented that is. It's really pigmented. So that's going to go down here because we're doing like a yellow, I thought this pop of gold in the waterline would be amazing. Really pretty. And what I'll do is I'll even take that yellow and kind of smudge out. And this is a Morphe E35 too. And we'll just like really smudge out. battery and I forgot to put charge the battery so we're using my phone but back to what I was just saying we are just going to put that yellow into my underneath that and so that's how that's gonna turn out and I'm gonna try to do my lower lashes honey I don't really have lower lashes so it really does nothing for me where's my mascara that's nothing for me. I don't know. Anybody have an idea on how you can make your lower lash um, grow? I got a text from my nail tech. It was supposed to be 11.30. We were supposed to go get my nails done. And she texted me and was like, come at one. It's like, honey, you're messing with me. And we're just going to jump in and do the next side of the eye here real quick. Oh, please don't have a tear come out. Oh my gosh. If I had to be an actress and <laughs> had to do a crime scene, <laughs> trust me, y'all. I could do it. <laughs> All right, and so then we're gonna take that Morphe brush one more time. My eyes watered so bad. much mascara there I told you guys I have no bottom lash <laughs> so sorry so now we're going to move on to a little bit close to the end here we are going to take our Ofra highlighter I'm going to spritz everybody keeps calling me I'm gonna spritz this so I can do 
my highlighter and we're gonna mix we're gonna do all the colors and we just need to oh, Oprah has some real pigment there y'all okay I'm gonna keep it so as well and then I just forgot we gotta contour the nose. So we're gonna take, and I have the perfect brush to get that done. And we're gonna take a Morphe M331 and we're just gonna contour the nose. There we go. I thought my nose looked a little different. I'm like, what did I skip? my nose that's you know lately i've just been skipping so much like there's days i'll start putting my foundation on and not have no primer on i'm like what were you thinking but then i had to think back in the day you didn't have they didn't have primers like that so they was just putting foundation on skin so there nose is got that we're gonna take that charlotte tilbury pop bronzer one more time Go for the nose real quick. Just to highlight that. I just love this powder. And oh my God. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I kind of bring mine up to my eyebrows a little bit. Blend it out just a little bit more. I might have put too much on this side. There we go. And now we're gonna use my highlighter one more time just to go down the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna keep this on one more time. Chin. Okay. And now I want something for my inner corner. I still want a pop of color. So, another brush. Morphe Y22. We're going to spritz our brush here and we're going to go back into Julie's palette and we're going to jump into this color right here. And we're just going to pop that just to open the eyes just a little bit more. What? What? All right. And then now, last but not least, we're going to take the Jeffree Star um re red dumb whatever i'm just gonna place that on our lips and the reason why i chose the red is because i have all right here is the final look got some bronzer going on we did this yellow look with you know, you know, the red pops it a little bit, but I like it. We're very bronzed. Like, honey, for this cloudy day, it, it, it's going to feel sunny today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment below if you have any questions. If you want to know where I got anything, comment below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, come on over to the Diva family where it's fun is stress-free and you get to have a little fun with me so why not until next time I hope you guys enjoy I hope you have fun I hope you have a good weekend it's Thursday over here so time you see this will be Friday so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and the fathers out there you guys have enjoy enjoy your day it's your day have fun a lot of fathers are going fishing so going to fishing or to a cabin have fun and like I told you guys next time you see me this hair will be done <laughs> so till next time love ya